Excuse me, what are you doing? No, no, no! Hello? Hello, Emma. This is Richard Castle. I heard you wanted to speak with me. How do I know it's really you? Ah, uh, well, if you care to step outside, I'd be happy to show you my driver's license. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, you say you're Richard Castle? You're gonna have to prove it, all right? In the Nikki Heat series, what's Rook and Nikki's wine of choice? Sancerre. In Deadly Heat, what's Douglas Sandman's nickname? Bedbug Doug. In Storm Rising, what's Pierre Dubois' last words? Ah, trick question. Pierre was a Trappist monk. He took a vow of silence. He never spoke. Boom. Believe it's me now, Emma, because I can play Richard Castle trivia with you all day. I will crush you. Okay. It's you. So, let me ask you if you. No, 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 no. Not on the phone. The cops are listening. So? So I don't trust them, okay? Just, just come inside the dental office and we can talk here. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Hey! Shut up! Uh, look. Emma. We need to speak face to face. Do you hear me? It is the only way. Okay, but only if you send out Suki and her mother, deal? Deal. Be outside in five minutes. <sighs> Castle, what the hell were you thinking? I have no idea. Honestly, I didn't think she would take the deal, but look, hey, she's a fan. Okay, I know my fans. She won't hurt me. You don't know that. I'm not blind to the risks, but I already got her to give up a little girl and her mother. I can reach her. <sighs> my God. It really is you. So we have a deal? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come in. How you guys doing? How the hell you think we're Hey! Doing? I told you! Okay. Shut Emma, up! Emma, EC, I'm here now, all right? So let's talk. You want to tell me your demands? What do you mean, demands? Uh, money? Transportation out of here? No, no, I, I, don't, I don't want any of that. Okay, then what do you want? You! I just, I just want you! You want me? My boyfriend is dead, and I know what it looks like. I do. I know it. It looks like I killed him, but I didn't kill him. Uh -huh. I didn't... Shut up! Emma, please. Stay calm. I know what you're capable of, Richard Castle. How you solve murders. You want demands? Okay. I want you to prove my innocence. So she wants you to prove her innocence? Right. So I hate to break it to you, but I don't think this is going to be a traditional hostage negotiation. Why you? She's read all my books, all those articles about you and I working homicides together. So she's your number one fan, and this is some sort of Hail Mary? Pretty much. So look, I think we should... Don't tell them anything else. Why? Because they're cops. Are you okay in there, Mr. Castle? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just gonna talk to her, and then I'll call you back. Are you sure? Yes. No cheeseburgers. I repeat, no cheeseburgers. Cutting down on red meat. So, you didn't kill your boyfriend. Let's figure out who did. As you know, all my stories start in the same place in the beginning. So tell me what happened. I got home late last night. Why did you get home late? Well, after work, I, I, um, I bought a dress. Because today's my birthday. So. Angela was, uh, was going to take me out to dinner tonight. He worked out some sort of surprise. It said it'd be a birthday I'd never forget. <laughs> Any idea what the surprise was? A marriage proposal. At least I was, that's what I was hoping. That's why I bought the dress, even though I couldn't afford it. Just stupid, huh? No, not at all. So you have your dress, and? When I got home, I, um, I poured my nightly 